Good morning. How's everybody doing? Yeah, I'm looking like a fool. Um, <laughs> anyway, we are having smoked turkey legs with a, a Korean like glaze on them. Never had these before. Uh, haven't seen it on the internet at all, but I'm gonna try it today. So basically, we're gonna cook these for a little bit in the oven. And then after the oven, then I'm going to fry them. And then I'm gonna toss them in that sauce, y'all. And we are gonna see how it turn out. I just wanna, yeah, I'm just gonna do something different. Um, let me see, you're supposed to season these and then, um, actually you're supposed to put the butter on there. But I don't know if the butter is gonna, I guess it is in here. So you just rub the butter on there. And you could put some pats of butter in here too. But I'm not gonna cook these all the way, y'all. Cause I'm gonna end up frying them. So you put your butter on first, I guess. Cause this is what I'm doing. <laughs> I have three of them, but I think I'm only gonna cook two. Or should I just go in here and cook three? I'm gonna go in here and cook all three. Of them. It's on my TikTok shop. Just like that. And then we're gonna flip these over and season the other side. That's all I'm seasoning it with, y'all. I just hope this turned out right. I'm trying to get them in the oven early. So by the time I get ready, these will be ready. Oh, and we're having, um, what is this? This is a new flavor. This is mashed cauliflower. This is sour cream and chive one. So I'm gonna be cooking. Let me see how big these are. Cause I might only need one. But I remember last time I cooked these, I needed more than one. Hmm. You know what? I'm just gonna, I'm gonna keep the two. I'm gonna do two. And whatever is left, I could just, you know, I'll save it. Anyway, um, did I put this on there already? I think I did. Okay, now I'm going to, Cut some pats of butter. Where is my knife? I'm going to cut some pats of butter in here. And I'm not gonna do any onions either, y'all, because it just, it, I'm not. <laughs> I'm just not, okay? 
So we're gonna close this up. I laid one piece going this way and another piece going this way. So just close it on up. It's completely closed, and you're gonna cook this on a sheet pan. Turn this oven on. I'm gonna put it on 375. I really don't know what to put it on, y'all, but that's just what I'm thinking. And we're gonna cook it just like this. Shoot, I got some pots up in here. We got some pots, babies. Well, thank God we only have two. So, um, honestly, I'm gonna put it on 400. I'm gonna see how they do. Um, and. So yeah, we're having the cauliflower mash. We're gonna have those turkey legs. And oh my God, I knew I was forgetting something. <sighs> I forgot to order some cabbage. That's what I wanted to have with this. Okay, so we're just gonna go with another vegetable. Who knows what that's gonna be. And, uh, I want some mac more macaroni and cheese, girl. Yeah, y'all pray for me because I'm really obsessed. I am obsessed with macaroni and cheese. <laughs> it is just, it's ridiculous at this point, but what you gonna do? You know what I'm saying? What am I gonna do? Cheers. Mm, mm, mm. I got a surprise, 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 surprise. Y'all are never going to believe this. Never. I'm so glad I've been patient. I really haven't, but I have. So the bees have been doing their job. I thought they've been slacking, girl. <laughs> but they have been lazy. I ain't even gonna lie, but look at this. Can y'all see it? <laughs> look at her. And she all by herself, y'all. Now I gotta really keep an eye on this damn thing and make sure, ooh, I see a worm. Oh my God, y'all, come look at this. Bad, that's one that I already killed. <laughs> it just dried up and got burnt by the sun. Anyway, so we have one over here, y'all. Just one, but it's all good. It's better than freaking none. So this weekend, I'm going to prune this plant to where, <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be prune pruned. For real, for real. Like, I'm getting rid of a lot of this. Um, it's just too much for one tomato, you know? Like, that tomato needs to grow, so. Is there something in my fucking pants? What is that? Girl. Anyway. So, yeah, because we need all the energy to go to this tomato. <laughs> Or the nutrients, whatever you want to call it. Um, so I need to get rid of all these bottom leaves, like all of them. Probably like almost all the way to the top. So hopefully I get some more freaking uh, tomatoes. Dang, I can't even hand pollinate that one because there's no more flower at the end. Dang, I wish I would have caught it early, but I didn't even know. I had no clue. Anyway, y'all look at this. I've, I've given up on the strawberry plants, so I'm done. 
with with this one at least. Season is over though, but look how look how they have ravished this freaking plant. Like it didn't even have a chance. Even when it did, oh, I see it. And he going fast too. Do y'all see that? Oh my God. I bet you he been doing it all himself. He, he eating fast too. Look at this fool. So he, oh my God, there's another big one in here too. Okay, so we have that one, y'all, and this one. Oh, he know I'm looking at him. Y'all should have seen him chomping. I mean, fast too. <laughs> he know I'm looking. Oh my God. Y'all about to go get my insect spray. You little pluckers. Get your ass up out of here. You too, spider. We don't need you anymore. I bet y'all ain't dead. You not. This stuff ain't worth a damn. I mean, not a damn. This either. Nah, I'm sorry. It's just not. I didn't put it all over the bottom of it. Like, and to me, it looked like something is still eating this one. Look at my banana peppers. They getting big, girl. They getting big. Anyway, this one seems to be doing a whole lot better. But I completely covered this one. Seems like it is. I don't know yet. It grew some new leaves, like at the top, that haven't been eaten yet. So, yay. I'm over here, y'all. Look at this. <laughs> Freaking finally. <laughs> this is the biggest one has grown over here uh, on this uh, watermelon plant. So I think there is a couple more growing, but they not big like that. So you know what I'm saying? Hopefully that one survives because it would be the only one that survived over here. Anyway, y'all, I'm looking for this tool that we leave on the ground and I cannot fucking find it because I wanna, I wanna get these. Look at him, he went back to eating y'all, look. Look, he went back to eating. He said, that freaking spray ain't nothing for us. Look at that big one back there. Look at he crawling. Look at this fool. Oh, he must've got a hold of some, oh wait. Yeah, it's that spray. It's irritating it. It's the spray. Yep. Look at me trying to wipe it off, y'all. Oh, sorry. He trying to wipe. He was trying to wipe it off, y'all. He trying to get the hell out of there. He trying to get out of there. Why is it not affecting this one? This one is going crazy. He like, get me the fuck out of here. And for the people telling me I'm too old to be using the N-word, girl, you better go somewhere trying to tell a grown woman how to talk. I will talk the way I want to talk, okay? <laughs> so you're gonna keep hearing it whenever I feel like saying it. I've been saying that my whole life. <laughs> so we all know that it's not a good word, but you know. <laughs> Anyway, just know you can't tell a grown woman what to do. Just know that. Ooh, ooh. He's going crazy. <laughs> oh yeah, we're about to get him now. <laughs> I can't wait to smush him. Look, he, he like, please help. No, motherfucker. No, I'm not gonna help. I will help you get the pluck out of here, though. Mm-hmm. Yeah, baby girl. 
Don't try to act dead. <laughs> now you dead. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting you too. With your black ass. Yep. I'm getting you too. Buddy Roski. And you can die by your friend. Get off of my stuff. Ooh! Oh my god. That one didn't even want to... Ooh. Ooh. Oh my god. That one had a, like a hard exterior. You know, I might as well let them eat the rest of it, honestly. But they just make me so mad. I don't even want to see them alive. Yeah, this this plan is done for. But he got some new little leaves growing right there. Like, get out of here. I'm done with this plant. These strawberry plants over here, they look better, but it's still not strawberry season. So, you know what I'm saying? Somebody's definitely in here doing a thug puzzle. This one's really pretty. That one's pretty. But I'm not done with these two yet. I'm gonna let them do what they do for however long they want to do it. And we're going to see. Oh, this. Y'all, this piece that I took off for one of my tomato plants is actually doing all right, even though it has all the little holes in it, but it's, it's growing. This one's not doing so well. So we'll, we're going to see what happens. These watermelons are still alive. Thank God. Uh, and then that one down in there. He's been hitting really, really well. Uh, so, happy about that. Y'all even see it? Yeah, I can't see, so I can't see if I can even see that or not. Anyway, there's two of them on this plant. Let's go in the house, it's hot. I'm holding out hope for this tomato plant. Hopefully I get something. something y'all like I don't have any good flowers on here so I don't know what's gonna happen with that one all right y'all this is what they look like I'm gonna stop cooking right now let me feel the texture yes that's perfect that's perfect I need to make the sauce It won't stop. Y'all, so we're about to make this glaze. I have no measurements for it. I just know what goes in here. And I'm gonna turn this on low because this needs to simmer. Okay. And it's gonna be ready when it gets thick. So we're gonna start off with this soy sauce. This is the dark soy sauce. Like I said, there's no measurement. <laughs> So there's that. Zero sugar honey. Um, you can use uh, chalk zero maple syrup, but I don't have that, so I'm just using this. Red pepper flakes, if you want it spicy. Zero no sugar ketchup. I swear I cannot find a container that's bigger than this. Like this is the only size I can ever find. It's so annoying. Um, rice wine vinegar. Garlic paste. Ooh. I 
Honestly, I might as well use the rest of this. As garlic paste, you can use uh, minced garlic if you want to. Then, ginger. Um, come on. There. And some monk fruit sugar. Well, you can use whatever kind of sugar substitute you want to use. And we're going to simmer this on low. Once it gets thick, you're just going to sit it to the side. And make sure you taste it, girl, so you'll know if it's good or not. Let me get me a little plate. Put this fork on. I kind of want to taste it right now before it starts cooking, but I'm not going to. Let's put it hot on there so get hot faster. And yeah, that is the sauce. Um, when I'm done getting dressed, I'm going to fry those um, turkey legs. And what else, y'all? Let me go ahead and do my... Um, my macaroni is, let me boil my macaroni. I think I need to do that first. Yeah, let's go ahead and boil the macaroni. I know exactly how much to put in here for a personal uh, bowl. This is the pasta, the low carb pasta I use. Okay, Amazon storefront under pantry. Link in description. That should be enough for one bowl. Yep. And I'm gonna do the melting of the cheese when I um done getting ready. Okay. So let me uh, let me see. Target legs. Uh, whatever vegetable I want. Still haven't figured it out yet. Um, mac and cheese. Uh, cauliflower mash. So I should go ahead and probably do my cauliflower mash right now. Oh my God. It still hasn't unthawed. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is put these in the microwave, but I'm gonna finish cooking them in a pot, y'all. Cause that's how I did mine last time. For some reason, I feel like. I'm gonna do both. Okay, let's see, what does it say? Microwave on high for four minutes. Remove tray from box, microwave on high plus four. Four minutes. Let me 
me see what this looks like. Okay. Come on, sauce. What you doing, boss? I need you to start bubbling. So I'm gonna turn it just a little bit until it starts bubbling. Cause I was going to stick the turkey legs on top of the mash. So I was going to need enough mash to do that with. Go ahead and put this in. So put both of them in here. Why not? And it's spicy. Mmm. Oh my gosh. That is really, really good. That's gonna be real good on them um turkey legs. Oh my gosh. Wow. Y'all, I'm starting to think, do I need macaroni and cheese? I'm already boiling it down noodles. Oh my god. Oh well. We're having it. This sauce is good. Yeah, we're gonna have some real low key tomorrow, honey, because girl. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's what I like to see. It's bubbling up. All those flavors to be combined. Yum. Yummy and delicious. Okay, I'll be back. All right, y'all. So we're over here in this pot right here, okay? So I just took these out of the microwave. They didn't microwave all the way because I'm going to finish cooking them in this pot. Because I do mine, you know what I'm saying? Like I do a little extra to mine. I don't just eat it like this. So, what we're going to grab is some cream cheese. cheese and you put half of what you want in there. Then, what else are we going to do to this? We're going to season it with chicken bouillon and pepper. Oh, that's 
saus bintik cheese melt and then we're gonna add some xanthan gum to make it the texture of thick potatoes so I'm gonna put the top on there and let that melt while this pasta is boiling and this ooh, this is getting thick and that's how you want it so you can glaze your turkey legs This in the potatoes, I just need just a little tiny bit more. Oh my God. Y'all need to try, to try this in your mashed potatoes. Girl, I was shocked. I don't know if I've used this in my mashed potatoes. I think I used salt and pepper last time. I'm not sure, I can't remember. But I don't remember using this ever in mashed potatoes. But anyway, look at the texture. You see how it's it's a little looser? That's why we're gonna add the uh, xanthan gum to make them super thick, like regular mashed potato. Girl, mm. oh my God. That is literally too good. Okay, so I got just a little bit in here. This is probably gonna be enough because don't like put no whole lot. Okay. About that much. And a little bit at a time, honestly. Just to see you know how thick it's gonna make it. It's gonna get. Oh, yeah, it's getting thick. It's getting thick. Let that sit for a little bit. We still got these noodles going. They're not done yet. I just wanted to show y'all how thick these potatoes are now. You see? And as they sit, they're gonna get even thicker. So, oh God, this, oh, yes. So these are gonna sit. And I'm gonna show y'all how thick they get. And these noodles are almost ready. What's the mother flipping deal? Y'all, I think I've worn this one time. I think so. Anyway, just did a video. This is from, excuse me, a boutique on TikTok shop. Um, this is a size medium, y'all. This is what the bottoms look like. Um, it has like a little peekaboo right there, but you can definitely cover it up or you can show it if you want to, girl. Okay. Y'all have them the best half bra I have ever gotten in my life. I made a video about this one too. When I, t If you are having a hard time trying to find a half bra, y'all, I have never had a half bra that fits so good that doesn't do like the, the fat thing right here. Y'all, I did not know it was my bra that was causing that because it doesn't do it in this bra. 
Look at this. Y'all. Anyway, I'm, I show the bra and all of the features and everything in that video on my TikTok page. So make sure y'all go and check that out. I am uh, melting the cheese right now. Y'all, why? <laughs> like right now, I don't even feel like eating macaroni and cheese. But I have to do it because I done already took the cheese out, put it in the pot. <sighs> yeah, I already made the noodles. So... We're gonna go ahead and do it. Uh, but I, for the vegetables, I was thinking, uh, just eat the rest of my cucumber, honestly. That's really what I wanna do. That's all I wanna do. I don't want no more. Um, I don't want any more what am I trying to say? What is that broccoli? Okay, no broccoli for me. So this cheese is melting fast. Okay, let's not calm down. Calm down. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. Hold on. I'm right here. Oh my gosh. Y'all, why did I just find out where? these gnats were coming from because i'm like i know we not reinvested with these daggone gnats y'all girl <laughs> the gnats were in a bowl of watermelon seeds somebody had kept a bowl of watermelon seeds <laughs> first i saw though i saw them out here on the counter then somebody went and put them in there with the washer and dryer y'all i went in there I see that damn little bowl and every, like all of these gnats, they said, Phew. girl, I went to kill it, honey. I went, I got that insect spray that I use for my plants and it worked on them daggone meat and gnats. I got them. I didn't get them all because they're, you know, there's some strays flying, but girl, I pretty much got them, pretty much. I have turned this cheese down so the bottom won't burn. So when I turn it, it won't like scrape up all that burn part, you know? It's happened to me so many times now I know what to do to prevent it. All right, y'all, I'm gonna put some chicken bouillon to season my cheese. Just a little bit of chicken bouillon, just like I did yesterday. I'm doing the same thing. almost melted and I'm just going to add my pasta um oh my glaze is glazing girl all right let's I'm about to clean this all right y'all so the cheese is ready ready so I'm just gonna put my noodles into the cheese just like that <laughs> and twirl it around in that delicious cheese. Oh my God, look at that. Make sure every noodle gets some cheese. Y'all, so I put the same cheeses I put in there yesterday. A little bit of Velveeta. Um, a piece of cream cheese and some Oaxaca cheese. That's what gives it the cheese pull, the Oaxaca cheese, y'all. So I'm gonna put some pepper. You know what, I'm gonna put it. I'm going to put some on top of there once I put it in the bowl to it. This is the bowl. Oh, girl. I swear can't nobody tell me nothing about this mac and cheese. <laughs> mac and cheese does not have to be baked, honey. I just want some regular, delicious, creamy 
mac and cheese, girl. That's enough. Put some more pepper on top of that. I'm gonna warm up my turkey legs and then we're gonna glaze them. So I'm just gonna lay my mashed potatoes on this plate and then I'm gonna put the turkey leg on top after I glaze the turkey legs. But y'all, look it, you see how thick that is? Mm-hmm. That's how me like it. So we're just gonna put the, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna save the rest of this mashed potatoes. Freaking yum. Look at that. You would never thought that was cauliflower mash. Not at all. All right. Now we're going to get a plate. And we are going to warm up. Two. Ooh, it made its own little gravy. Yes. Mmm. We definitely need to warm these up because they've been ready. Oh my freaking God, y'all. One thing, I changed my mind about frying the turkey legs because they're fine exactly how they are. Just put your glaze on. That's all. Put your glaze on. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna put the glaze on before it goes in the microwave. We're gonna go ahead and glaze them. Girl, this glaze, when I tell y'all this glaze is so good, it's too good. And after we warm it up, we're gonna put it on top of these potatoes. Raspberry lemonade, what are we doing today? I hate it when it hits the ice the wrong way and it squirts out of the damn glass. 
That is annoying. Now it's on my freaking seasoning. Wait, we got this one. All right, now we got our drink ready. We definitely have to warm these two up. Look at that. We're about to put it together. We're about to put it together. This is my cucumber. I'm just gonna cut it up a little bit. Yeah, I just want some regular degla cucumber. You know what I'm saying? Delicious. I'm about to warm this up real quick and we're gonna put everything together. All right, y'all, are y'all ready for this? Ooh, girl. I'm so glad these did not fall off the bone because that's not what I wanted. You know what I mean? Wait, take the big one. Put that at the bottom. So we're just gonna, I don't, y'all, I swear this sauce smells like a barbecue sauce. You're gonna smush it in your potatoes, just like that. Boom. And we're gonna put our cucumbers behind the mac and cheese. We don't necessarily wanna see this on the green screen. So. All right, y'all ready for this? Cause I, been ready. <laughs> yes, kitty. Okay. Why is my hair sticking up like that? Okay. Delish. Wait, was it? Hold up. There we go. Alright, let's go. <laughs> we made, we are having some homemade glazed turkey legs on top of some cauliflower mash, some cucumbers from my garden, some delicious creamy mac and cheese. Yes, I had it yesterday and I'm doing it again today. <laughs> But look at that. Uh-huh, who wanna hear me by? Y'all know y'all want some. And we are drinking, uh, what is this? Raspberry lemonade flavored water. Yummy, delicious. <laughs>